It used to be that spending an evening at a book launch in the nation's capital was less than high up on one's social agenda. But in recent times, Delhi's book launches have evolved beyond stodgy tea and biscuit affairs, increasingly becoming CNBC net social events, where 20 and 30 somethings rub shoulders with artists, journalists, and the capital's literati as they cradle glasses of some substance that will likely lead to lightheadedness. The recent launch of Palash Krishna Merutra's book Eunuch Park was one such affair. Beer and wine flowed freely at a rock bar Cafe Morrison. A local band called Men Who Pause belted out strains, while bartenders earned their keep by juggling bottles and even lighting the bar on fire. The space was packed with crowds of politely jostling people attempting to have their literary opinions heard over the soaring music. This departure from tradition seemed to sit quite well with most attendees. It's a new concept. It helps uh, young generation people, young at heart, to come and you know, uh, know about the book. People from uh, all backgrounds can come. So we like to have you know, good readers, good authors. Yeah. Telling about their uh, book themselves. It is like a one-to-one interaction with them. But there is the question of whether book launches of this nature detract from the product at hand, with alcohol and music taking precedence over the book being promoted. Usually we do not serve wine or we do not get into the refreshments part till the actual business of the launch of the reading is over. Um, so it is actually segregated into two different parts, the event. Um, having said that, you don't really want to do the tea and biscuit routine for everything. I mean. For a non-fiction book, you would probably look at a different format, for a fiction, a different format. It also depends on the kind of partners we are able to get in. So, so for instance, if we have a um, cafeteria or if we have a pub like Cafe Morrison come in, uh, then people would come expecting that as part of the book event. When quizzed as to what makes for a successful book launch, Penguin's Himali Sothi underscored that it has as much to do with the author as it does with getting the event to complement the nature of the book being promoted. What is really essential is that you link the book launch um, to the theme of the book or the profile of the author. So, uh, for instance, we did this book called Unique Park, which is gritty, contemporary India, short stories, which was launched at a very popular pub like Cafe Morrison. But at the same time, if you're doing an Imagining India by Nandan Nilekini, uh, the audiences, the sort of partnerships that you look at would be different. A lot of times it's about the author's ability to connect with the audience. And what you're really looking at is a buzz generation. And if your book launch manages to do that, and if you have that long queue of people lining up to get their book signed, then you know you've made an impact. There are so many book launches. It's about how you differentiate in terms of format. So uh, you have to get that absolutely right. So for a fiction book, it's important to have a reading, but you need to give you know that bit which really connects with the audience and which leaves them wanting more. So this is this is an excerpt from Bloody and the Friendship Club. Bloody was in first year college. His friends called him Bloody because he was fond of the word, using it freely in conversation. For example, if he wanted to watch a film at Priya, if he was unsure about the show timings, if he didn't know how to get back to the university from South Delhi, then Bloody would say, it's so bloody far, and I'm not even sure if they're bloody showing the client. You can't trust these newspapers, always giving the wrong bloody listings. Khanna, do you know what time the bloody afternoon show begins? 2.30 or 3.30. I can never bloody remember. If I go to Arabian Nights after the movie and have chicken, then I'll miss the last bloody bus home. What's the bloody point of going that far when you can't even have bloody chicken? While the issue of whether this new type of launch is really selling more books may remain in question, the fact is that with younger attendees, more diverse venues, inventive performances, and of course free refreshments, Delhi's book launches are certainly a lot more fun.